Morning Survivors, and happy, what day is this? <laughs> I'm just kidding, happy Tuesday. I just woke up and I have not had the coffee yet, so we're gonna get it. <laughs> All right, let's get this done, shall we? On our way out to our favorite place in the whole wide world, the front porch. <laughs> That's where we do roll our talks, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do this. So today we're going to talk about something um, <clears throat> that I think happens to a lot of us as we go through recovery and even while we're still in the situation. Um, we get this hypersensitivity to sound, some of us. Um, I personally have dealt with this for a while now. So um, I think I talked about this a little bit in a video before about why am I so jumpy, right? Uh, and, and the thing is that... Um, what it turns out is that this this uh, this sensitivity to noise has a, has a name. <laughs> it's hypericusis. I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, but what it basically means is that it's more than just a startle reaction. It is literally because of the CPTSD, the complex post traumatic stress disorder, that so many of us get after we've dealt with a narcissist. We it's more than just being jumpy. It's literally the way your brain processes the uh, the, the sounds and and another interesting fact about that is that it's not so much about um, having it's not about hearing better than other people okay <laughs> something you probably don't know about me is that I have 45% hearing loss in one of my ears because when I was young and poor <laughs> I couldn't afford to go to the doctor when I had a really bad ear infection right after my oldest son was born um, he had insurance but I didn't you know how it is so um, I didn't get treated and I ended up losing 45% of my hearing in one ear. So you would think that that would help me out with the noise sensitivity, right? But it doesn't. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Let's get started. One thing that we tend to mistake um, is, is we think that the PTSD, uh, you know, the, the loud sounds are the only thing we're worried about. But it's not so much that. It's, it's, uh, it's not just loud sounds. It is loud sounds, yes. But it's also competing sounds. So like um, a lot of times when we have people over, we play music. And my husband likes it a little louder than I do. And that eventually I'll have to leave um, the room and go to where it's quiet because I feel overwhelmed by trying to hear everybody and the music at the same time. Uh, so, you know, and another thing is like um, the vacuum cleaner running or uh, tapping, somebody tap, 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 tapping, um, you know, their foot or their fingers on the table or whatever. Little things can make you mm, kind of, you know, uh, it's not good. Uh, but but understanding it is is one step toward you know, knowing it and understanding it is, is are the first two steps before you can overcome it. So that's what we're doing here today, huh? A lot of us will find that later in the day we are more sensitive to noise or after having dealt with a, a very stressful situation. Like I said, with the, you know, when we have a party and, and the music is too loud and people are all talking and everything, I'm, I'm okay at first. Uh, but after a while, I'll have to leave the room because I feel overwhelmed by the sounds and the, um, and I, I, I say I'm overstimulated like a baby, but the fact is, it kind of is like that. You kind of are overstimulated like a baby. If you if you think about um, if you've been around a baby who's been, you know, say at Christmas time in a room full of relatives that are so happy to see it, he, him or her and and want to you know hold the baby and pass the baby around. I, my my middle son was especially sensitive to this. I'm I'm pretty sure he's also an empath. So when we would go around uh, to Christmas or holidays with the family, and everybody wanted to pass the baby around. Um, this poor kid, he would get so, especially when he was tiny, he would get so overwhelmed by the sounds and the, and the touching and the, all the stuff. And it's not that, you know, he's not autistic or anything. He's just very sensitive to sound. He's always been that way. I'll tell you one more quick story about that. That's kind of funny. Um, when, <laughs> when he was a baby, um, you know, I breastfed all my kids. Just a personal choice. No, no, please don't talk about breastfeeding in the comments. Um, <laughs> cause that's not what it's about, but I did breastfeed them all. Uh, and, um, anyway, he, when he got his first tooth, at one point, um, you know, decided to try it out while he was nursing and hurt me very badly. He was about eight, eight months old when it happened. And, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I screamed, ow, I screamed really loud. And this poor thing, he just cried. He was so shocked that his eyes got real big and he just cried. And, you know, initially, you know, I think that was when I started to understand that he was so sensitive to sound. So, of course, I ended up comforting him because <laughs> he bit me. So cute. But anyway back to real real stuff here here's the thing regardless of um, the severity I don't think that I have uh, the severest form of this particular symptom because yeah I get a little nervous I get a little bit um, like I said overstimulated or whatever 
but I certainly, you know, it doesn't bother me if I hear somebody open a bag of chips or it doesn't bother me if I, you know, hear certain noises that are normal. And a lot of, a lot of people who are experiencing this, they have a much deeper problem with it. They literally will just, I mean, some people have to wear earplugs because it gets so serious. Um, I feel like I need to do that when the music gets too loud myself, but that's why I always enjoy having, you know, a little bit of alone time each day so that I can make sure that I have the time to soothe myself down even now. So, you know, that's that. And now I've got some more things I want to talk to you about today, but I don't want to overcomplicate this video. So um, just know that if you're dealing with sound sensitivity, um, you're not alone. It, it is something that is exacerbated, if not totally caused by, I think it's exacerbated by, by PTSD caused by narcissistic abuse. Um, but as the example with my child shows, um, you know, at, at that point in his life, you know, I mean, he hasn't experienced narcissistic abuse directly. So, and as a newborn or an eight month old, he certainly didn't have any idea that he wasn't the center of the world. And so I think that it also comes naturally to some people. So, but it certainly is um, exacerbated, brought to a higher level uh, during abuse. And it has to do with being in a situation where you're not in control from the beginning to the end of the situation, which in my opinion, um, we all kind of feel that way with narcissistic abuse. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I've got a couple more I'm going to try to do for you today, especially because since my computer's broken, I can't write as well as I normally would. So might as well just talk to y'all uh, and, and stuff like that. So let's do it. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for letting me be a part of your life and a part of your day. And um, oh, one more thing. Um, thanks for being a part of mine also. Uh, but one more thing. I have heard you um, on the recovery stuff. I've heard you on the business stuff. I, I mentioned in a couple of videos that um, I was considering um, sharing with you guys how to start your own business at home um, and in various ways you can do that. And um, I, I need to know something. Do you guys want me to put this on this channel or a different channel? I think it would be okay to put it here um, as long as I put it in a playlist because I know not everybody's interested in that. But tell me your thoughts. Um, I don't really want to put it on another channel because I don't want to take away the focus um, from what I'm doing here. And, and for me, this would be continuing my mission for you guys. But again, I don't want to overwhelm you with things that you're not interested in. So let me know your thoughts on that if you wouldn't mind, please. Thank you. And I will see you later today. Have a wonderful day, y'all.